Okay, so when I think space, I think zero gravity, but then that kind of totally diffuses build and battle. How do you build in space? Right, so uh, what we've got is, um, it's a massive space environment. So there's this huge planet beneath you. Um, it's actually the big planet of dust, which is Emmett's homeworld. Okay. Um, and then in orbit are these large space stations. They have grab generators. And so players can still run around and drive around uh, their ground vehicles, do build and battle on those space stations. But yet, some of the space stations are hovering and floating away from each other. Okay. So some of them, you know, require you to fly over to them or whatever. And it, so, it, it, at its kind of core mechanical level, it plays a lot like a collection of islands. Okay. Um, but it's got awesome stuff. Like if you if you miss jump or you know you drive a vehicle you know off the edge, you see it get pulled in by the gravity and get pulled towards dust. It catches fire and burns up. It's just a really awesome way to get nice. killed. That's fun. Back in back in the pre-production days. Back in Santa Monica, what came first, the space battles or the terrain battles? Like, what, what when you shot for the stars, what did you guys want to accomplish after the game? Um, well, we knew we wanted to do uh, space battles okay. because I think there's um, a really great opportunity for us to stand out. And like I've said in all my marketing blabber, um, we did really want to stand out. Um, and so doing really great space battles was key. But we did actually start with the terrain stuff first because we actually had to really um, refine our process to build these. They are enormous hand-built structures. It's not just rolling terrain. That stuff is great and beautiful, and players love it. Um, but when you're flying around in space, you've got you know miles of hand-built mechanical structure. So getting that to you know perform right and play well and, and get the right layout is was really tricky. So talk about the jetpack. You know, is it just you know just strap it on and go? Or oh my God, I wish I had that recorded. Strap, strap, strap it on and go. Yeah, that'll have to get edited out. Anyhow, the jetpack is a really great vehicle because it it helps make the troops more uh, combat effective against some of the other vehicles. And you know, players really loved the jetpack that we did in Warhawk. But it was an expansion pack. You had to pay extra to get the jetpack. But people loved it so much, and it became such a critical part of how players traversed all our environments that we said, screw it, you know, let's let's go ahead, let's find the memory, let's put that in the base set of vehicles so that everyone's got it right from the get-go. Well, I'm gonna close off with the fact that I'm a huge fan of your Twitter. I follow a lot of developers, but you, my friend, do it right because you're showing uh -huh. behind the scenes stuff. Obviously, sometimes Sony makes me blur out certain things because right. I understand how that goes. But I'm just showing, you know, pictures of people playing or what they're working on, I think it's cool and it lets people lets people see uh, behind the curtain. Right on, man. That's why I love talking to you, man. All right. Always a pleasure, dude. Enjoy your stay right. and congratulations. And I think this interview was brought to you by the phrase, just strap it on and go. <laughs>